A girl is watching Avengers Tower from her window, even though she can't see much. She thinks it's like a real-life castle, or pyramid in the city. Her friend doubts anything exciting is happening. Suddenly, Thor crashes through her window, apologizes, and zooms back to Avengers Tower, turning their ordinary day into a scene of superhero action, right outside their window. The Avengers are in a big fight at their headquarters, with a bad guy named Apocalypse and his four horsemen. Spider-Man is confused, and asks what's going on. Thor is mad that they're being attacked in their own home, he hits Apocalypse hard. Captain America and Hawkeye protect themselves as Maria Hill, a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent, urgently calls for help. She tells Iron Man to leave the fight, take a new guy, and get a time machine ready. Iron Man narrowly avoids an attack by death, who turns out to be the Scarlet Witch, someone they used to know. Ignoring Maria's warning, Iron Man calls out to Scarlet Witch, who hits him with a powerful spell, causing his armor to disassemble. Falling from the sky, Spider-Man swings after him, while Hawkeye cheers them on. Spider-Man sees Iron Man falling, and shoots his web to make a safety net, saving him. Iron Man thanks Spider-Man seriously, knowing he would have been in trouble without the rescue. They end up hanging from a street lamp, relieved and catching their breath after a close call. In the big fight, Wolverine gets grabbed by war, but Spider-Woman and Captain America manage to mess up their plans. Wolverine warns, that the real problem is connected to the Kang situation. Captain America thinks it might be a surprise attack. Wolverine disagrees, feeling something's off about Apocalypse, and his new team. As Wolverine goes to tell the others, he runs into Poison Ivy, who poisons him. Spider-Woman catches him and passes on Wolverine's message to leave. Thor fights Poison Ivy, but Maria Hill tells everyone to stay where they are. Tony Stark wants to talk to Apocalypse before deciding what to do, leaving the Avengers in the middle of a confusing, and dangerous situation. Tony Stark puts on his Iron Man armor, after a system reboot. He joins the battle, and when faced with Apocalypse, uses his magnetic to hold him in place. Iron Man asks Apocalypse, where he came from, and suggests they can help each other. Despite Apocalypse's threats, Iron Man sees a chance for cooperation in the midst of the chaos. As the Avengers face off with the Horsemen, Iron Man tries to make a deal with Apocalypse, to fix the messed up time situation. But Apocalypse acts all-powerful and refuses. Meanwhile, Thor impressively fights the Horsemen. Suddenly, Apocalypse and his crew start disappearing into a weird time thing. Iron Man confused, tells the Avengers it's worse than it seems. When Captain America asks where they went, Iron Man explains, they are stuck in a time mess created by Kang. During their chat, he found out something troubling. Now the Avengers are left wondering, what Iron Man discovered. Inside Iron Man explains he has valuable data, a map of where Apocalypse has been in the time stream. Hawkeye suggests calling for more help, but Maria Hill wants to focus on other issues. Outside the tower, Spider-Man and Spider-Woman chat about recent events. Spider-Woman compliments Spider-Man's heroics, mentioning a demonic version of him with six arms, which surprises him. Inside Maria clarifies, not all Avengers are going into the time stream. The Protector joins them, saying the time stream problem is fixed. Spider-Man asks Novar if he can stick to walls too, and Novar explains his unique DNA. Spider-Man jokes about too many spider-powered teammates. Novar joins the group, and asks Maria to call him by his name. Iron Man is tasked with taking Novar Wolverine and Captain America, to set up the time machine for their time stream mission. The rest of the team, including Hawkeye, is assigned to deal with time-related issues in the city. Iron Man and his team head to a secret location, and Novar quickly puts together the time machine. Meanwhile, the others head into New York City, wondering where everyone went. Spider-Woman thinks, they may have scattered into the time stream. Suddenly, Maria Hill's communication goes silent, and Spider-Man senses trouble. As they realize something is behind them, Kill Raven and Devil Dinosaur appear, setting the stage for a new challenge.